Hi there, this is Tony, bringing you another installment of The Best of Salty Language. Uh, this time I brought a special guest. Hello, this is Stephen Hawking. Yeah, and uh, in this episode we really discovered that in addition to space and physics, you really enjoy strip clubs. The only thing I like more than black holes is bitches. Whoa, easy over there, buddy, easy. This dick isn't crippled. Ah, Jesus. With that note... Uh, enjoy the best of salty language. Check out episode 33, Badge Browns, for more of this garbage. Dude, this has got to be story of the week, month, fucking year, I don't know, whatever. For forever. <clears throat> Acclaimed <throat> physicist Stephen Hawking is reportedly a regular at a California strip joint. Word. Not just a strip joint, it's actually a swinger's place. If I believe correctly, oh, well, if anyone could swing, it's certainly him. Yes, it's a sex club. <laughs> well, it's the only way you can move back and forth. That's right. <laughs> Hilarious. I, know, right? <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. So before he goes in there, before he wheels himself in with his eyeballs or whatever he uses right. to move his thing, mm-hmm. do you think? Because he's got to have handlers. Yes, you know. he does. He has nurses and helpers yeah. that always have to go with you, him. You think someone attaches something to his wheelchair, so when he, like, winks at it, it just starts shooting money into the air? <laughs> no, no, what he does is he'll be sitting there, and a woman will walk over and be like, you know, uh, hey, big boy, want to dance? And he's, you know, he's like, you know, uh, he's like, Ted Helper, reach into my backpack and get some money and make it rain on this bitch. Make it rain on this bitch. Exactly. I like it. That's how he gets it done. Basically, <laughs> they just start spinning in circles. <laughs> what happens is, right? See, they open the doors. He comes fucking rolling in with. He's got you know because he's got his own sound system on his <laughs> well, wheelchair. You have to, right? In his Professor X chair. So, <laughs> and the, actually, that thing in front of him, that's to do fucking beats because he he usually DJs. Oh, so he's like Dead Mouse. Fuck yeah! Oh, all right. So that's why he's up in the club. Maybe he is Dead Mouse. Well. He's dead limbs. <laughs> Anyways, so... DJ Turnip Legs in the house. <laughs> oh, man, is that awful? <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. Oh, my God. Yo, yo. How come every time we get together... never be scuffed. <laughs> How come every time we get together, it always feels warmer in here? Is that hell getting closer? And we're, just, we're just bringing hell to everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so he comes in, you know, and, he, you know, before he goes in, they suit him up in his red Adidas tracksuit, naturally. Right. Takes hours. <laughs> he's got his Adidas shoes on, not tied. Well, of course not. Because you've got a rocket. He's got his dookie chain on. Got to. You know, and someone holds, you know, a big boombox up on his shoulder. Does he, does he rock his kangle? Well, duh. Of course. <laughs> The fuck you think he's got big, you know, he's got big, like, uh, black frame glasses on, you yeah, know. Of course. Mm-hmm. And he's called Roll DMC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways. So. Roll this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so fucking wrong. All right, so, you know, he gets in there with his crew because, you know, they all come in. He's got, you know, his helpers are actually just his his homies. Right. You know, so they rock up in the club, and then, you know, he walks in, and he's like, yo, 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 bitches, I'm here. And then the money shoots out. <laughs> fucking makes it rain. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. That way everybody knows He's up in this bitch. He's, and he's for real. Right. And everybody's drinking on him that night. Of course. You know. Because he's DJ Turnblad. <laughs> right. Represent. <laughs> the Reverend Roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because ain't no run. Oh, dude. <laughs> Man, you're on uh, fire right now. Hilarious. Ooh, good thing he isn't. Never get away from him. That's true. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Eight ashes in a burn up chair. Someone dump him <laughs> on the ground and roll him. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ashes in a chair, dude. <laughs> wow. It's like the Otto and George joke, you know. Uh, oh, Chris man. Freeze after a house fire. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ooh, you. Man. <laughs> uh, so, anywho, yeah, the, apparently he goes in. And he goes into the play area and lays there fully clothed. Handicapped accessible. Nah, well, of course. It's got a ramp. You know it. It's either that or he gets carried. And um, they lay him down all nice, you know, and the women, like, grind on him. Sounds fair. Yeah. 
Yeah. But what I don't understand is he can't feel this. He can see it. That's all he needs, I think. I guess. And when you got math and space running through your head all mm-hmm. day, you got to have a sweaty, dirty vagina rubbed on your <laughs> Well, yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Although I do want to see him, like, roll into the lab the next day just covered in stripper glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Steven, where you been? <laughs> Researching. <laughs> where you think, bitch? <laughs> I was getting my drink on. <laughs> Oh man! Naturally, his drink of choice is Rolling Rock. But <laughs> of course, why wouldn't that's be? his other nickname? <laughs> Rolling Rock. But anyway, so I'm trying so hard to think of rap tunes that involve movement, but I can't think uh, of any. <laughs> to roll this way was good enough, man. That's, <laughs> uh, that's why, from the first time I read this story, all I pictured was him rolling in like he's a fucking just gangster, just gangster. fucking rolling in with his crew, just taking the place over, you know. Big black Escalade comes out, and then the side opens up with the ramp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's got spinners, of course, up on well, the sides of his course. shit. Yeah. Of course. You got PlayStation on the back of his Well, yeah, because, you know, Exhibit did it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, we gonna pimp his ride. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like sitting in a wheelchair. So we gave you a wheelchair ramp thing. So we gave you cushion, Joe. And that bottom part where you used to keep all your medicines and shit and your extra clothes and diapers, man, we put fucking bass in that shit. Like, the bass makes me avoid my bowels. And check this shit out, Steven. Telescope in the sunroof. <laughs> Yo, this car be pimping. <laughs> oh, exactly. And, because we know you like hitting the titty bar. Yo, dude, we, we done threw in the money dispensers on both sides. <laughs> and water cannons. Well, you got it. For a wet t-shirt contest. Crystal cannons. <laughs> well, yeah, naturally. Exactly, because it's champagne room. <laughs> He's making it rain in multiple ways. Yeah, that's right. No. Ah, Stephen Hawking. I know, right? If anyone deserves to uh, go to a strip club, it's him. Yeah. Now, they, they, um, I believe, uh, uh, what is it? A responsibility, or, yeah, responsibility, cheese. I was reading something. Uh, a rep from, uh, was it Cambridge, I think it is, he, he works at, has denied reports that he's a frequenter of it, saying he doesn't live in the state that, you know. Whatever. Even if he goes, who cares? I'm like, Stephen dude, Hawking. Like, dude, he's got, you know, Lou Gehrig. Uh, physicist money. Yes. You know, I, I don't really don't know how much money that is, but by I'm now sure he's plenty. He's written, you know, he's looked at a bunch of books that have been written and you know, all this kind of stuff. Dude, he's like seventy years old. Dude, he can't move. Still free. <laughs> if he wants to go to a strip club, fucking let him. I know, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. He's like, okay, baby, yeah. here's the rules. You can do whatever you want, but don't cover my eyes. <laughs> Yes. Just saying. Or touch the keyboard. <laughs> well, his eyes are his hands. I mean, I don't even think there's a keyboard anymore, is it? <laughs> don't fuck with my tower. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my dials. <laughs> you never touch a paralyzed man's dials. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so horrible. All I want is a damn word bubble on that picture, too. Damn! <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's such a great picture, too, I know. <laughs> He's like, yo, yo, Shody, bring it this way. <laughs> oh, God, we have to move on. Yeah. I right. think we could talk about this all goddamn sure night. We should open with it. It would have been the entire Stephen Hawking at a strip club well, hour. You no, know we should have done was just covered this and the old lady's uh, <laughs> poker game. We could do movies out of the two of these. That's true. <laughs> you know, because there could be a, a rival wheelchair physicist that, you know, <laughs> you know the gang wars. <laughs> uh, if, if it's a true rival, it's guy, he's got to be perfectly able bodied. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> You're right. He's constantly, you know, taunting him with his... But at the end of the movie, Stephen Hawking wins and puts him in a wheelchair, sets up the sequel. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Uh, speaking of hilarious wheelchair stories... All right. John, More wheelchairs. John Champion allegedly robbed store at knife point, gets his wheelchair stuck not during getaway. Not the champion getaway. of walking. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> also not the champion of getaways. No. <laughs> champion at all things, except sand. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a champion of calloused hands. Right. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, like I said, his record against sand, 0-1. <laughs> Police in Florida arrested a disabled man whose alleged convenience store robbery ended when his wheelchair got stuck in the sand. John Christopher Champion. Say, when his wheelchair got hilariously stuck yeah, in the sand. I know, right? So I should say. 
He's been charged with armed robbery and aggravated battery. According to Chief Lynn Police, Champion went into the Chevron gas station Wednesday night, brandished a pocket knife, and demanded cash from the register. Champion taunted the 54-year-old clerk, the police report states, telling her to push the panic button because the police would not arrest a handicapped person. The clerk got into a struggle with Champion and allegedly stabbed him three times in the legs, police said. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember this now. Yeah. Then a wounded... That's right. He didn't feel thing. <laughs> yeah. Then a wounded Champion grabbed a 12-pack of beer and a roll of electrical tape and fled the store. You know what it is? He's part of uh, Hawking's posse. <laughs> That's right. It's an enforcer. The rollers. <laughs> <laughs> the rollers. <laughs> According to the police report, Champion was very intoxicated. The question is, all right, so if they if they come up to this guy and they're checking him for sobriety, do they see do they make him wheel in a straight line? Does he start wheeling and immediately becomes drunk driving? What if he's paralyzed like Stephen Hawking? He can't touch his nose. That's true. What do they do then? Dump by the wheelchair and beat him with the tongs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Shouldn't they tase him first? Throw some coke on him? Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe like pepper spray him. Like, officers, you do realize this man's paralyzed from the neck down, right? <laughs> like, yeah, but you should have seen the look he gave us. Oh, man, he was dangerous. Like a mean mug. He's got stab wounds. He did something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were unable to locate uh, his weapon, and they basically found him... Um, uh, oh, shoot, where is it? I thought they... Nope, I guess not. All right. I thought that they said they found him with, like, a bunch of empties. I'm making that up. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Man. Just stuck in the sand. What an ass. I know. I love that, you know, you see somebody in a wheelchair, and you're like, I'll stab you in the leg. And it's like, he's like, whatever, I'm Superman. They, if she really wanted to hurt him, she would have flattened his tires. <laughs> oh, that ain't even right, man. That <laughs> what? From the back, like... She just fucking put some brakes on his wheelchair. <laughs> ah, damn it. You booted me. <laughs> I can just see, seriously, the cops show up, and they're just all hawing like it's a Mad Magazine cartoon. <laughs> and him stuck in the fucking sand. They're all hitting him up with their iPhones, taking pictures, <laughs> posing next to him, pulling the Lindy. You know? <laughs> and you just go, you assholes. <laughs> Get me out of this chair. Oh, man. Like, not so tough now, are you? <laughs> Either that or just, you know, out of nowhere, one of the sandworms from Dune just pops out and eats him. Wow. <laughs> that would be unexpected. That would be unexpected. And the cops are like, I wonder he wanted to get out of the sand. Yeah. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> oh, man. Or if it was a quicksand. <laughs> That's even better. It's like, oh, no. It's like, you know, in thousands of years, someone's going to find. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at this saber tooth type. What the fuck is this? Apparently, once upon a time, humans and machines were mixed. <laughs> they were look one. Look wheeled man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Thanks for listening. You can find us on iTunes and on Stitcher. Just search Salty Language. Follow us on Twitter at Salty underscore Language. Go to SaltyLanguage.com to find anything else related to us. Make sure you check out PodGodsNetwork.com, UsingsOfAGeek.com, and GeekLifeRadio.com, all places you can find the Salty Language Show. Thanks again. <laughs>